citizen being killed and my deepest condolences to the family and to the Lobos. Uh, Honorable Chief Minister Ran Mullah, tenant verification is being intensified, so also drives are conducted to identify senior citizens who are residing alone in the house. First part of it is tenant verification. I am Podoyle, there was a drive of the Kolwale police station, Mapsa police station doing the drives. Let me be frank with you. The drive started and I began wondering myself how are the drives being conducted. Because Normally, a tenant verification was being done under an order under Section 144 of the CRPC. Without that order, there cannot be such verification. And such order can be issued only six months at a time. They renew Korumpatta. If it's not there, the entire exercise becomes illegal. You had brought a bill, the Honorable Chief Minister brought a bill for tenant verification. I just verified it, the select committee dalle and it lapsed. But I would request, bring one so that you can have a verification not only of guests, guest house and atate, but even people who may reside, let us say in my own house, we don't know who can be a criminal or who may indulge in criminal activities. And I don't know where they were going. From Paji phone, I could see them going that side. So, passing BPS club. So, if we have these type of people and nobody knows who they are, I jail and file gale commit a crime and disappear, I think we need to strengthen this by a legislation. So you don't have to repeat 144 orders, chukle, then they all get free and your action becomes illegal. That is one part of it. Second is senior citizens, verification of senior citizens. I feel, personally I feel this can be very dangerous because if somebody in the police station has a data of this, an illegal zale zaler, somebody else gets hold of it. You never know sometimes unscrupulous people in the police force, things have happened before. They may also devise a plan, thanks or puck. Or when they go out, how to rob it. It has happened. I can cite you the cases where it has happened. So therefore, it, you will have to have a foolproof system how senior citizens can be protected. I agree it requires to be, but not identify and keep a list with them. Third is, one suggestion of mine, every these panchayats, a compulsory CCTV camera on main roads. If you can sanction this and make this available for panchayats, maybe the rich panchayats like uh, Michael Lobos in Kandoli, Kalangut and Arpur, the coastal belt, may be able to get it by CSR or whatever. But our panchayats don't have those funds. So if you can make that available, I think this will be sufficient. Oblige. Yes.